and welcome to my channel, Sheikah's VHD Life. If this is your first time here, my name is Sheikah. I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy on December 20th, 2017. Highest weight was 331 pounds. My surgery rate was 273 pounds, and I am currently 158.7. I think I brought everybody up to speed. So hi, um, this is my 11th month post-op video. I am about two and a half weeks late, but so much has happened in the last, damn, in the last month. A lot has happened in the last month. So I'm gonna bring everybody up to speed. Ignore this wrinkled ass backdrop, but I'm in my bathroom and I didn't want you guys seeing all in the shower and stuff. <laughs> Anyways, it's been 11 months. Like, um, this time last year, I was on my pre-op diet for the second time. I was supposed to get my surgery originally on November 27th of last year, right after Thanksgiving, and I had issues with money and whatever. The check didn't get deposited the way it was supposed to, so the surgeons didn't get the money they needed before they operated, so they pushed your girl back a month. So I ended up having surgery in December, which I feel was probably a lot better for me than if I would have gotten surgery in November, because honestly, it gave me more time to get used to the type of diet I was going to be on, and I was able to lose more weight. So um, prior to um, surgery, when I started my liquid diet, I was 284 pounds, and I got to 273, so I was able to lose about 10, 11 pounds, which was cool. I had never been able to lose weight that fast and I lost that weight in the two weeks before surgery because as soon as my surgery got switched and pushed out for another month, I like binge ate for like two weeks and I was like, shit. So there's that. 11 months, I cannot believe it. A year ago, I was like, I'm never gonna make it this far. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine the other day and I was like, I'm never gonna get to like, I never thought I would get this far. Especially last year, I was like, it's gonna take forever for me to get to the soft food stage, it's gonna take forever for me to get to like, all foods, like, and I'm here. Like, I literally eat whatever I want. I mean, not whatever I want, but everything in moderation. Um, I still meal prep, uh, I still weigh and measure out my food, but sometimes when I'm out and stuff, I don't. I might have a bite of a friend's like cheesecake. I had banana pudding today. I had some fried food today, but it didn't agree with me really well. But this is just an update on my life 11 months after post-op BSG. So I wanna tell you guys some things that I can still do, some things I can't do, things I eat, things I don't eat, whatever. 11 months post-op. Um, I am now up to about 1,200 calories a day. I don't typically make it to 1,200 calories, but I get pretty close most days. I got 1,200 yesterday, but I supplemented a lot of my meals for protein shakes. I am big on the Fairlife Shamrock like protein shakes. They give you like 30 or 42 grams of protein. I get them at 7-Eleven and Walgreens. I will literally clear the place out. I'll just go in the display case and pull them all out. I do not drink Premier Protein at all. Uh, there is an ongoing lawsuit that it doesn't give you the full amount of protein that it says on the package. And honestly, this shit is nasty. Like, I don't like them. I don't like them at all. I think they're disgusting. Um, I did get some money back from that because I've been buying Premier Protein for a year and a half now. And I thought I was getting, you know, 30 grams of protein with each shake. And I think it turns out that people are getting like 20 or 23 or something, but whatever, it was free money and I wanted my money back. Uh, so I have been taking um, some whey protein. Um, most days I supplement with two shakes a day. So I have two shakes as snacks. They're not my actual meals. So for breakfast, I'll have some hard boiled eggs, a couple of pieces of bacon, and maybe some avocado. Um, then I'll have a snack of a protein shake so I get my protein in. Um, I might also eat like a handful of like almonds or peanuts or something, or uh, I'll get froyo. I eat a lot of frozen yogurt, um, typically sugar free. I don't limit myself on having things with sugar, I just make sure that anything I eat, I don't get over 17 grams of sugar per serving. And that's at the recommendation of my surgeon and my nutritionist. And multivitamins and bariatric vitamins and all that stuff are not having a good time. Um, I have switched vitamins probably about 
probably about six or seven times since I've had surgery. I tried six or seven different types of vitamins and I'm not finding one that works out. I did try the Baramelts. I don't know if you guys know who Baramelts are, but I'll link them in the description below. Baramelts I had the best reaction with. They are uh, chewables, but you're supposed to let them like dissolve on your tongue. Those I've had the most success with. Like I've literally had the most success with those. Uh, so I'm probably gonna order those again. Currently right now I'm taking a women's one a day vitamin. Every day a multivitamin, I take it once a day. And then I'm also taking a bariatric um, calcium citrate plus D3. I take those three times a day. I'm also taking an additional supplement of B12, an additional supplement of biotin. Um, and I'm also taking vitamin K at the recommendation of my doctor literally because i don't go outside enough so i don't know i guess i need more sun so i can stop taking vitamin k um i still can only eat a small amount of food but i'm up to about a cup at a time two months ago i could not eat more than half a cup of food at any given time i can eat a cup of food at each meal i'm still focusing on getting my protein first so i'm eating the meats first any green leafy vegetables and then i might move over into starches I do not eat rice at all. I do not eat bread. I do not eat potatoes. This is a personal thing. Um, I know other people who have had weight loss surgery eat those things and they have no issues with it. It's just a personal thing for me. Me and carbs are crazy. Um, my weight loss has slowed dramatically. Um, before I was losing seven to 10 pounds per month. Now, uh, since I hit six months post-op, I've been losing maybe two or three. I know with my last video, I talked about hyperthyroidism and trying to take drugs and stuff. After several tests and getting everything done, it turns out I do not have hyperthyroidism. I did have a swollen thyroid and I was given some hormones and some medication and that has gone down so the weight loss has started back up. So I'm losing about a half a pound a week. Um, I'm two to three pounds per month. Um, I haven't weighed myself in about a month and a half um, and that's because I had moved across the country and I had left my scale in Florida. So I had moved back to Vegas for a little while, uh, three weeks to be exact, and I am now back in Florida, which I am very happy about. Um, but that's a story for a different vlog. Um, my one year post-op is on December 20th. I don't see my surgeon until January. I'm trying to see if I can get an appointment with him in December so I can get this shit out of the way, so I can stop freaking out, and so I can stop driving um, three hours to go see my doctor. I'm so tired of it, I need to find a local doctor. Uh, what else do you guys need to know? Um, I'm happy. I started seeing a new therapist. My depression has severely affected everything that I did. Um, there were a few times I thought about just throwing myself off a building. Uh, and I think a lot of it had to do with what I saw in the mirror. Like even doing this video right now and like watching myself on like the viewfinder, I keep looking at my face and going, who the fuck is that? And I do that guys all freaking day. I'll walk past the mirror and stop and I'll go, who is that? And I'm like, oh shit, that's me. So <laughs> it's really hard to get used to how I look. And because of that, when I take pictures and things, I typically cover my face when I take pictures. The only time people get to see like my whole face is when I do these videos. I don't really like to show my face anymore. I used to take selfies all the time. Now, when I take a picture, I'm like, what do I do with my face? So I cover it with the camera like this. <laughs> Which is stupid, right? Uh, what else do you guys need to know? Uh, I haven't had any really big issues. I know a lot of people have different signals for when they are full. Um, my signal is I start to burp a little bit. I have these tiny little burps. They're the cutest things in the world, I swear. And I'll do like three or four of those and I'm like, I'm done. Uh, when I go out to eat, I honestly will load my plate up with food and then I'll eat like a bite or two of everything on the plate. That's my portion control when I'm out with people. And then I push the plate away and I'm done. It's, it's gotten a lot easier. It used to be crazy freaking hard to do that, but now it's super easy. I have no issues with going out to eat with people. I just don't eat what I don't eat. Um, another thing that I did, I finally fully went public with the fact that I had weight loss surgery. So everybody I know knows that I had it now instead of just the select few people that I told or the people who know me personally who are got on my YouTube channel. Just told everybody I uh, put up a couple of videos talking about why I did it and what it's done for me and 
I'm really, really happy that everyone knows now. So now I feel like I don't have to hide anything. So, yeah. Uh, I also started waist training about four months ago. And I got my newest waist trainer in today. I had to go down the size. Well, I had to go down two sizes. I was in a 4XL, now I'm in a 2XL. Y'all, this waist trainer is the truth, but it was crazy hard to put on. Oh my God. But um, I'm happy to see where I'll be in a few months. I also had a consultation with a plastic surgeon because um, I was considering getting a tummy tuck and lipo and BBL. And after some soul searching and some working out at the gym and talking to my friends and talking to God, I just realized that if I do get surgery, and I'm not against it, if anybody else wants to do it, have at it. But I felt like if I did do surgery, I'd be doing myself a disservice because I've always had an an issue with loving myself. I've always had a hard time with like loving my body and the way that it looks. And I'm starting to love it. And I really feel like if I got any sort of plastic surgery, it will be like, okay, what do I need to fix next? And what do I need to fix next? And what do I need to fix next? And I really don't want to do that to myself. Now, if anyone else um, who has had weight loss surgery decides to get plastic surgery, I understand that you might be doing it for, you know, personal reasons or medical reasons or, you know, just strictly cosmetic. But, like, we spend so much time on social media and I look at all of these women and what their bodies look like. And I start to think, oh, I could do that and I could do that. And I was like, and then what happens? I'll keep trying to fix some part of me that doesn't look like what society loves. I don't give a fuck what society likes. I like what I like. And I like my little double chin that's like, you know, refusing to give up. And I like my little belly. I'm waist training because I love my waist and I want it to be smaller, but that's a personal thing. I love my big old thighs. Um, I love my big old arms. I keep telling people that I don't really have any loose skin because I weight lift. Like, that's the most that I have. Like, just this little bit right here. But it doesn't bother me and, you know, I worked hard for this. My arms used to look like trash, so this is great to me. Um, and I'm just starting to love the person that I see. So I feel like I'd be doing myself an extreme disservice if I did anything cosmetically to change that. Maybe after I love myself enough and I make a decision based on like if it affects my health or something might be better. But I don't think I should make decisions like that just because I want to look like a certain standard. But that is it for me. Uh, I am going to do my one year post-op video on the day of my one year post-op. I promise. So that means you guys will get another video in about two weeks. <gasps> a twofer. Twofer. you'll get two in one month which I never do anymore I need to keep up this channel more uh, after I hit one year I'm probably going to just upload a video about once a month and it'll literally either be weigh-ins or what I'm eating um due to the fact that I did have you know hypothyroid for a second and because I'm getting into like the maintenance stage of weight loss surgery it's my my surgeon told me it'll take me about two years to get to my goal weight and that's okay I love that I'm not losing weight like at the speed of light that I'm losing it you know naturally um so my skin and everything has time to bounce back so not to say that anybody who lost weight fast looks bad or anything this just works for me but I'm happy um as always guys if you have any um suggestions or you want to leave a comment maybe you love my channel you hate it there are things you want to see Leave me a comment, send me an email. I saw the same email, sheikasbsgjourney at gmail.com. Um, you guys can also follow me on Instagram um, on my weight loss page, which is sheikasbsglife. And I also post a lot of stuff on my personal Instagram. I just don't add everybody. And that is cool as sheika, that's C O O L A three S S H E E K A. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful week. Bye.